that. Over the last 10 years, there's been an understandable focus on our operations in Afghanistan and Iraq, but over the last two years, we have done some fantastic work in Sierra Leone combating the Ebola crisis, which they probably helped spread in the first place, but let's not get into that, James. I've got a slew of articles from the Media Monarchy archives about what maybe happens when you can't get quality meat for the war machine. You lower your standards. Here are four articles, James, that are almost... 10 years old. So imagine where we are now from where we were talking about this 10 years ago. The U.S. is recruiting misfits for the Army. That's from October 2006. That's from the San Francisco Chronicle. Military accepting more ex-cons. That's February 2007, and that's from Stars and Stripes. Then we've also got gangs spreading in the military, and Army expands by lowering the bar on recruits. Those from July and November 2007, respectively. All of those links will be included, James. And again, I think it just shows maybe on a lot of levels when you people are wising up and they're not buying the crappy food anymore, they're not joining your crappy military anymore, you have to sort of change the message, which is kind of hilarious in that story, James. Yeah, that's right. And they do talk about the uh, new recent publicity campaigns, which are helping to recruit more people. And they do have to try to sell it because who would willingly step into the meat grinder? Who would say, yes, I want to be cannon fodder and fodder for experimental vaccines and all the other experimental garbage that they do to the people in the military? Um, Of course not. So, yes, it's a good sign. People are uh, less willing to believe the nonsense and less willing to step into this meat grinder for what exactly? Why Why have we been occupying and invading Afghanistan for 15 years now or whatever it is? I mean, it's just, it's insanity. And it's hard to sell insanity to a public that has anything left of common sense. And I guess there's a few shreds left there in the UK. So hats off to all those people who are not joining the military and not stepping into that meat grinder. That article, James, also mentions how it's more expensive to train one soldier than it would be for that person to go to college. So even when you just break down the math, it's like, yeah, yeah, I don't know why I would ever want to do that. A couple of other Good News Next Week updates from people using hashtag Good News Next Week. Finland considering giving every citizen $876 a month in basic income. And James, I can't remember if we hit this before. It seems like it floats around a lot. Russia Russia claims aim to become the world's largest organic food hub. So those are the good news next week updates and a couple of the other new world next week updates using the classic hashtag. Australian police storm the home of outed Bitcoin founder. Global oil prices plunge below $40. The IMF gets into the Cold War by forgiving Ukraine's debt to Russia. And German Chancellor Angela Merkel named CIA Skull and Bones Time Magazine's Person of the Year. And back here in the States, the IRS power to revoke passports has been signed into law. God help us all, James. Indeed. (laughs) All right. That's it for this week. Uh, Well, looking forward to it again next week. James, uh, Evan Pilato, MediaMonarchy.com. This is James Corbett, CorbettReport.com. See you again next week.